What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. And today, your boy is checking in over here at All Urban Central, giving y'all some breaking news, man, about this whole T.I. situation. And we're going to fly all the way to Atlanta where it's going down. All right. Now, we all know that T.I. is married to Tiny. And one of Tiny's ex-best friends is Sabrina Peterson. Now, we know in the last one to two weeks, she has come out and said that T.I., a.k.a. T.I.P., pulled a gun on her for some situation that happened back in the day. Obviously, it looks like she was fighting somebody, and then T.I. came out, pulled a gun out on her. We don't know if that's true or if it's false, all right? But it was more or less her beef with her b former best friend, Tiny, all right? Now, after Tiny came out and clapped back on her, on Instagram, pretty much calling all this nonsense and that you wasn't saying that, you know, when T.I. was, you know, uh, you know, visiting your kids and, you know, helping you out with your kids, your kids call him uncle. You know, why are you waiting right now to say that when, you know, you've been a part of our family for a long time? Sabrina Peterson then comes back and alleges that Tiny and T.I. are a part of this sex ring, right, where they're taking advantage of women, drugging women, and all of this, and they've been doing this for a long time, abusing black women and all that. Stop the show. I believe all of that is cap. We're going to give her a boo sound effect for all those lies. Boo sound effect, y'all. We know that that is cap. All right? And I'm not even the person that, like, you know, coming to TI defense or anything, but that's cap. All right? Because it was all good just a few weeks ago. Okay? What it seems like to me all right, and we're going to play Shakina Joe's uh, tape here. Shakina Joe, who's her other friend, who's the best friend also of Tiny, is going to point out that Sabrina Peterson is actually in love with T.I., all right, obsessed with Tiny, and that the same thing she's talking about, about them having threesomes with other girls and stuff like that, she actually was a chick that was involved in that and was actually recruiting chicks to do that to herself. Okay, now I'm going to play a part of that clip right now of Shakina Joe bodying Sabrina. Let's go ahead and play that clip. If Tiny would pay that home attention, she wouldn't be even into it right now with Tia. She's looking for attention. She wants Tiny. <clears throat> she, she, she obsessed with Tiny. Like she wants Tiny to be her girlfriend. Now listen, this is my thing. If it came out, the tip pulled a gun on her, right? How do we change from tip Tip not the victim no more. Tip is the victim, and Tiny now is the legend. How do we go from that? So she done got mad at Tamika for taking her husband. He go the whole goddamn thing. She has a problem. She ain't talked about nothing about how she <laughs> Tamika and Tip. I said what I said. <laughs> why she ain't talking about how she done sucked Tamika? Why we ain't talking about that? Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to talk about that? Let's get into it. I'm trying to figure out why she ain't told y'all, but... Thing. Why she ain't told y'all about she wanted the women who used to go recruit the in the What's up? Hey. <laughs> hey. Now they go to real seat. They go ask her why she ain't told she didn't get women she women empowerment. Why she didn't tell y'all that she done had some of that Why she didn't tell y'all? <laughs> she talking about all the rest of these folks running around here. Why she didn't tell y'all she been <laughs> And then I'm sad because Tamika, I guess Tiny, I don't know. I ain't never trying. I swear to God. Huh, huh. They don't wanna. I don't get involved. I don't know what they do in their life cycle. I'm not a part of it. But I know she done been around. Ask her how it tastes. Go ask her. Special comments how she know how they taste too. Ask her how to be content. Ask her do she want some more. Is that the problem? Well, ask her what was going on when she was in the threesomes and the foursomes. What happened with her? Huh? What about when she used to go get to recruit the whole phone? Where's she at in this? <laughs> Black power. You so into the power, but you the one recruiting to come get the Okay, so guys, we also want to talk about other things. Of why Sabrina Peterson, you know, why her credibility should not be trusted. Now, T.I., although he has been to jail before, T.I., I, I, don't, I don't believe that T.I. is a liar, okay? T.I. is known for 
you know, keeping it real, all right? But what about Sabrina Peterson, okay? Her, her credibility should be questioned because, oh, remember? Like, yeah, she was caught up in a whole big meat situation, all right? Where she was sleeping with, you know, Big Meech. He was sending packs to her salon shop. It's right there on his website. Check out the link, right? Like, she's known for, and she ain't went to prison for this, okay? So not only is Sabrina Peterson a clout chaser, okay? She deals with celebrities trying to get money, trying to do things like that. So pretty much, you know, she's she's known around the city of Atlanta for, you know, basically, uh, you know, thotting it up, okay? That's what she does. I, I'm not saying what she does. I mean, her record shows what she does. You just heard it from Shakina. You just seen all hip-hop. This is what she do. She would do anything for money. She would do anything to clout chase. And here on All Urban Central, we're going to tell the real. Okay? And for some of you guys out there, man, I'm going to tell you like this, right? When you have the influence that T.I. has in the region, when, you know, you're doing things, you know what I'm saying, you're staying with your family, and, and, and these chicks like, you know, Sabrina Peterson, she can't find nobody to stick with her. You know what I'm saying? She, 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 she getting a little bit older. She out here dusting it up. Of course, you're going to make up these lies for the clout. Okay? Anything for the clout when you're dusty and broke, it's about the clout. All right? Now, my man T.I. has finally addressed this, and I'm going to give him a round of applause, right? Because I do believe, even though politically T.I. says some things I definitely disagree with, I don't, I don't believe T.I. is a liar. I don't believe he has anything to lie about, all right? I believe that all of those women who are coming out here making these false allegations, I believe that almost none of them actually know T.I. and can't prove none of this that they're saying. I believe this is just, a, you know, they're broke, coronavirus, food stamps went out, and what they're trying to do is, is, is pretty much throw dirt on the man's name. Now, obviously, you know, there are women that suffer from abuse, and we I definitely agree that they should be protected, just like he said. But, but in this case, these are chicks, I think, that are making up this stuff. He's never met them. He don't know them. All right? And I want to play a little bit of his clip about what he said, and then I'll come back and weigh in on it. Hey. So, as y'all could probably guess uh, or imagine, it's been extremely difficult for me to remain quiet uh, in, 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 in light of all the things that have transpired and all of the, the egregious allegations that's been tossed around about me and my wife. Um, but it's a reason for that. And I don't mind sharing it. You see, if a person does not have any right to, to criminally or civilly have you in court, they have no right. The best thing they could do, it gets you for a defamation, a defamation suit, drag you in court, make you pay their legal bills, to get you in court now i mean at this point man this is the, this is the point where that don't even matter to me no more okay but that's the motive that's the strategy that's the intention say a whole bunch of false stuff about you um that get people to believe and make them come out and say they're a liar they're a liar they're a liar and then they can say see they call me a liar that's defamation then they drag, drag you in court, get you under oath and all that. Because unfortunately right now, it doesn't matter as much what they can prove you did. It matters what you can prove you didn't. You know what I mean? And that's just an unfortunate place that our society had made it to. But I want to be clear about one thing. Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. Women, black women in particular, should be supported, protected, defended, uh, and uplifted. However, evil has no gender. People with evil intentions have no gender. A threat comes in all shapes and sizes. I would never, I mean, I would never treat a woman the same way I would treat a threat. All right? So I think that that has to be distinguished. First and foremost, I want to say my wife, my wife is a beautiful person with an amazing spirit and a kind heart. She's a devoted mother and she has a humble soul. She don't deserve it. She don't deserve it. Uh, now, what we're not going to do 
and open up the door to my bedroom, as you shouldn't have to either. Open up the door to my bedroom for everybody to come in, chime in, and make their opinions about what we do and don't do or should or shouldn't do. But I will say this. Whatever we ever have done has been done with consensual adults who into what we into and like what we like. If we want something, we know exactly where to go to get it. We ain't never forced nobody. We ain't never drug nobody against their will. We ain't never held nobody against their will. We ain't never made nobody do anything. We ain't never trafficked anything. Well, sexually traffic anything. Um, I ain't never raped nobody. Never raped nobody. Also, I'm gonna tell you what's uh, was factual. I'm tell you what's factual. There have been fake stories put up that blog sites uh, uh, anonymously sent to this person. Blog sites anonymously sent. Fake stories to this person, and the person posted it as though it was a victim, that they were sure that it was a victim and it has been victimized. And what does what this does is it 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 dismantles the mechanism that women have created for themselves. You can't weaponize something un like un like with with with, with baseless claims. These are th these are not stories of actual events. They're not. And I have proof of that. And that's why I said it. I have proof of that. I have proof of people who have gone on live with this person. And they later said, man, I just wanted some clout. That's why I was, I can't believe they actually posted this shit. I just wanted some clout. So this is what we're dealing with, man. This is what we're dealing with. And also, I pose you a question. How you going to be a victim and an attacker at the same time? How are you being victimized if you are violently attacking someone? Women who have been victimized deserve to be heard. They deserve to feel comfortable and confident. They deserve to feel supported. And that's supposed to get them to a place where they can show their face and, and, and say, this is what happened to me. This is who did it. And, and so the necessary steps can follow. This is not that. This is not that. Um, I also want you to know it's evil at play. I'm talking about evil. I'm talking like, you know, evil. And there's been a history. We had, this is, we've had a history in dealing with the particular individual in question. We've had a history of it, man. Had a history of it. Uh, and there are there is a record of pattern behavior like this, a record, a history of harassment. Not not not. I'm talking about. Listen, this is not my opinion. I'm just saying what's on record, a history of violence on record. And we can't just, you know, weaponize uh, uh, social media to to take down. People who have families and, and, and who who, uh, who communities depend on. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about who who, who have done everything that they can to uplift and help to, to evolve our communities. We can't tear our people down like that. And this has taught me a lot. This has taught me a lot. But one thing I know, man, I will not be bullied. I am not afraid. I am not ashamed. And I mean, and, and the truth will be revealed, man. But until then, man, hey, listen, man, any woman out there who's going through things, who have gone through things, if you have a story and you, you should come forward. You should, but don't lie. Cause that, that, that tell the whole, the whole vehicle down. Don't lie. Don't lie. The truth is what needs to be heard. The truth. And I can deal with the truth all day. But at some point, man, there has to there has to be it has to be some sort of it got to be some something that happens if you come and make baseless claims that that, that are false about somebody that have a negative impact on them, their livelihood, or their freedom. Something gotta be done about that. But I was built for this. I was born. I was born to be in this position. I was born to be in the position in this position to face pressure and sit in the fire. 
so it benefits others in the future. I was born to be in that position. God put me here for this. So whatever evil has been conjured up to come against me, no weapon form, no weapon form against me shall prosper. But man, I got a lot of love for everybody who's been calling me, who's been in support of me and my wife. Um, shit, man. We'll be back to doing us, man, sooner than later. You dig what I'm saying? Love and respect. So, guys, you heard what T.I. had to say. I want to just say this, right, for you brothers out there, especially you brothers in, in these black cities that's getting money, you know, the Atlantas of the world, Chicago's of the world, you know what I'm saying, the Detroit's of the world, Oakland's, L.A.'s, all my real niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? I want to salute you brothers out there, right? But I want to tell you something, man. You got to really be careful, man. You black men out there, man. You got to be careful, man, how you moving with these females, all right? With these threesomes and, and stuff like that, and you know what I mean? Because you're, you, you're now talking about me, too. This ain't the 90s no more, the 80s no more. You know what I'm saying? Where it, that wasn't part of the culture to go out and make up stuff and clout chase. Some Now, a person don't even know you can come out there and, and put you on social media. The blogs will run with it, okay? Anything with doing anything hot, the, the blogs will run with it. YouTubers will run with it. Everybody will run with it in, in order to make a dollar on your name. And then, you know what I'm saying, before you even get to the court, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the case of public opinion, you're already ruined. So the good name you have uh, built over years, and it's kind of hard to hit people for, for defamation lawsuits over the internet because it's a long process. You got to watch how you move with these chicks. You got to watch how you move with groupies, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's you know, you have a day of fun, but then you come back, man, and it's a, a lifetime of fighting the charges, a lifetime for clearing your name, man. And then once they get out there, even though you're totally innocent, people going to believe what they're going to believe, right? So brothers out there that's getting money out there, you know what I'm saying? Look at what's happening with your boy T.I. He got to, you know, do all this stuff to clear his name, man. And a lot of times, this stuff ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you need to do your thing, man, you know, you're going to have to really move in a, in, in a specific way because you are going to be targets. You're a guy out there that got a lot of money. You're in a city like Atlanta. You're in a city like Houston, Dallas. People looking to get money off you because they lazy. You feel me? And so, guys, you know what I'm saying? I hope, you know, our boy T.I. can come out of this on top. You know what I'm saying? I think that he's completely innocent of what has happened. And, um, you know what I mean? I, I just think that these allegations are false. But, guys, what do you think? Check us out here on Urban Central. Subscribe, hit the bell. You know what I'm saying? Let us know how you feel about the topic. Comments below. And uh, as you know, haters going to always hate. And the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out. <laughs>